Hey guys, today I wanted to show you uh, my harvest that I made from my yeast starter. I made this harvest earlier today. I didn't make the video because I was kind of in a rush, but I wanted to show you the result of it, of harvesting yeast right up front in the yeast starter instead of harvesting it um, from the fermenter to where you get hops and trube and other things from that fermenter. We are getting fresh yeast that has yet to hit any of the beer that you're going to make it with, just the white um, dry malt extract that you use to make the starter with. So uh, you don't have to worry about color issues or going from a, a, a highly hot beer to a lighter hot beer and different styles and things like that. So I used a American Ale Y yeast that I made the starter with. Um, I followed the instructions on um, brewlosophy on how to harvest uh, the, the yeast from a yeast starter, and I will put that link in below. And I want to show you how clean this yeast looks from this yeast starter. Now, I did overbuild my yeast starter with 100 billion cells, so basically, I just filled up a mason jar full. And uh, what, what, what Brewlosophy basically says is that mason jar full should be sufficient enough to be 100 billion cells, and, he's, and they've done it over and over again, and it's been sufficient. So, I can take this mason jar and make another yeast starter for a future purpose for another beer and as you can see it's nice clean yeast there no hop residue nothing no trube and that's going to be thrown to another yeast starter for future purposes and i can do this over and over again um generation by generation uh, i probably wouldn't stretch beyond 12 generations but that's 12 yeast packs i did not have to buy and that's a lot of money when each yeast pack is about $5 at your local homebrew shop. So this is a good way to reproduce yeast and to harvest yeast up front um, without all the mess that's come, coming out of the fermenter when you harvest it from there. Um, this is the yeast starter that I made. Um, so I have a real good amount of yeast in there that I'm going to decant the top off and make an IPA um, whenever I can soon. And this, when I throw this in a starter, I'm going to decant that off and just throw it right back in that flask and create another starter for a future batch. Um, I'm probably going to do this for 12 generations and then eventually buy a new pack because I don't want to go too many generations in because that might create wild yeast. So um, I will put the link in below. Um, you guys like and subscribe. This is the first time for, that I tried this method and I think I'm going to continue to do this from now on because it's basically making a brand new pack of yeast straight from your yeast starter instead of buying another one. Thank you, like and subscribe.